Get right to our top story tonight. The whole state's talking about it. Well, on this Tuesday night, it was a fiery but decently respectful debate between incumbent Republican Senator Ted Cruz looking for his third election to that department and the Democratic candidate Congressman Colin Allred. They faced off in their only debate in the U.S. Senate race in Dallas, and we brought it to you right here on KCN and on 6 Plus. But if you missed it, we have the biggest takeaways right now. Democrat Colin Allred. Senator Ted Cruz and Representative Colin Allred squaring off in Dallas as they vie for Texans votes for the U.S. Senate seat. Gentlemen, in the first and only debate, the tone set quickly. I've been the most bipartisan Texan in Congress. I'm the exact opposite of Senator Cruz, who's the most extreme senator in the United States Senate, maybe the most extreme in the last 30 years. Colin Allred is going to try to say an awful lot of words that sound reasonable, but what he's not going to talk about is his own record, or my record. You could say things got chippy between the two, especially on certain topics like abortion. In Texas, we overwhelmingly agree that late term abortions in the eighth and ninth months, that's too extreme. And I'll tell you, in Texas, we overwhelmingly agree that taxpayer money shouldn't pay for abortions. Unfortunately, Congressman Allred's voting record rejects that Texas consensus. Uh, Senator Cruz just looked into a camera and lied to Texans about my position. <laughs> when I'm in the United States Senate, we'll restore a woman's right to choose. We'll make Roe v. Wade the law of the land again. Or the border. I believe in physical barriers as part of a comprehensive strategy to secure the border. Uh, Senator Cruz treats our border communities like he's going on some kind of a safari. He comes down, he puts on his outdoor clothes, he tries to look tough, then he goes back to Washington and does nothing to help. I worked hand in hand with President Trump to secure the border and we achieved incredible success. We produced the lowest rate of illegal immigration in 45 years. And inflation. The inflation caused by Kamala Harris and Colin Allred's spending binge is hurting Texans across the board. And I gotta tell you, inflation has in particular been exacerbated by Kamala Harris and Colin Allred's war on energy and oil and gas in Texas. Meanwhile, Allred says Cruz isn't helping all Texans. Somebody who goes to the Ritz Carlton in Cancun, do you really think he cares about inflation and about working families? When his entire career, he spent his time trying to cut taxes for the rich and not looking out for working folks. When I'm in the Senate, we'll have somebody who will try to represent all 30 million of us and make sure we keep a focus on lowering your costs everywhere we can. Well, other topics touched on during the debate were foreign policy, transgender rights, and January 6th. The debate was exclusive to KCN in the San Central Texas area. And if you would like to watch the debate in its entirety, you can find it on the 6 Plus streaming app. You can get that on Roku, Fire TV, and Apple TV for free. And now that you know more about the candidates' positions, we want to make sure and remind you that early voting starts Monday, October 21st. That's just six days from now. It runs through Friday, November 1st, with Election Day, of course, being Tuesday, November the 5th. During early voting, most Central Texas counties do allow voters to cast their ballot at any of the polling centers within the county, so very convenient. You can find your polling locations and check your registration at VoteTexas.gov.